In this lesson, we're going to look at how to adjust the tab order of controls on a form. If we create a simple form using the wizard, and we'll choose the products table, and I want to use all these fields, so I'm going to move them across with the two arrows, and then just follow the wizard through, sensible name, and finish. There's my form. The tab order is what happens when you press the tab key, which field it jumps to next or which control it jumps to next. So pressing the tab key once jumps down to the next field, again jumps down to the next field. Every time I press the tab key, it jumps to the next field. And then finally, it gets to the bottom one and it jumps to the next field in the next record. So using the tab key can be quite a time saving tool. That's fine when you've created a form from a wizard, but at this level you are tending to add things into a form that you've added yourself, that you've created yourself, perhaps a calculated control, option groups, labels, and you'll have done all those in design view. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it more easily. Remember when you're on a form, you can move any section about if you want more space to the right you can just click and drag that dividing line to have more space on your form likewise if you want more space at the bottom you can just click and drag the form footer down to get more space that makes the form bigger in effect you can even open up the form header by clicking and dragging that line so you can put things in the form header Okay, so let's work with this form then. What I want to do is have the name of the product at the top of the form rather than the product reference. So I just need to create a little bit of space. I'm going to select a number of these items together. And click and, oops, got that wrong. Select them all and click and drag them down. So I've got a bit of space at the top. And then I'm just going to select the product field. Click and drag that up. And that's now at the top of the form. What else can we do? Perhaps I want the stock field to be to the right of the value field. You get the idea. We've moved things around. Perhaps even we might have put a calculated control on there. But you get the idea. If I switch back to form view now, you can see, first of all, the first record, the first field is not selected. The product reference was selected. When I press the tab key, it jumps well, upwards to the product field. If I press the tab key again, it jumps down to the third field. And then again, and you can see it's all over the place. So we've lost the order of what happens when you press the tab key. Luckily, we can manually adjust that. If we go into design view again, If I select the product field and then click and drag that selector upwards, just about to see a black line at the top of the line there. That shows where it's going to go. And it's and then I let go of the mouse and it drops the product field at the top. Um, I also want its stock to appear after value. So again, single click to select it and then click and drag to put it in position. Click on OK. Now switch back to form view and see whether that works. Well, straight away we can see that the first control has been selected. Press the tab key and jumps down to the next. Yep, it looks like everything's back in order for us. So that's making manual adjustments to the tab order. And to do that, we switch into design view and then select view tab order and then simply click and then click and drag to put the fields in the position that you want them to be.